Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a method that I use to cross pollinate peppers. Now when you cross peppers, typically what you want to do is to select a variety that you like from two different plants to try to create a new breed. In this instance, I chose the Thai bird's eye because this is one of my favorite pepper variety for many reasons. We cook with this all the time and we really like the heat, the flavor and the tree is beautiful, it produces well and um, it's very low maintenance so it's a, it's a very nice variety that I really love. Now I have other peppers uh, blooming at the same time so this is actually the best time to do that if you have multiple varieties that are blooming at the same time. So what you want to do is pick two varieties that you like the most and then you can cross pollinate each other so you can do this one to that one and vice versa that way when you grow out the new generation you want to do both to see if you like the traits that the new variety carried over to stabilize. What I have now in my grow room are some chocolate scotch bonnet, Brazilian ghost, uh, I have Thai variety which is the bird's eye and I have some MOA scotch bonnet and reapers. So I will be using a bunch of those to cross pollinate each other and then pick out the variety that I like the most. The variety I'm going to try to create is a variety that I really really want to obtain two traits into one. I love the MOA Scotch Bonnet for the heat, flavor and the sweetness and the Thai for how much it produces. Also it's, um, it's a very easy low maintenance plant I and mean, you don't really have to do much for it to grow. So with that out of the way we're gonna go ahead and, and go into the cross pollinating process. So with all my videos, I like to use very, very simple tools that you find around the house. I don't really want to buy anything expensive just to do these tasks. So what I'm going to use today are just a simple container, just a ketchup container. And uh, these small Ziploc bags that I use for seeds. And as you can see, I have already um, labeled these. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cross the MOA Scotch Bonnet pollen onto the parent tree of the Thai bird's eye. And as you can see, that it's main right there. The main meaning it's the parent plant, which has the pollen of another. And on this one is the reverse. So basically, the MOA Scotch Bonnet is the parent plant, and I'm going to get the pollen from the Thai bird's eye to pollinate it. And then you will need any utensil. Tweezers will work too, but uh, I like these. Uh, this tool for how precise the cuts are, and uh, I stole this for my wife, so I hope she doesn't she doesn't find out because she'll kill me. Anyway, that's the tools that I will be using. So let's start with collecting pollens, and I will show you how I do that. Okay, the way that I collect pollen is very, very simple. I use a ketchup container and a clean Q-tip. Make sure this is a brand new one and it hasn't been used for any other pollen because pepper plants are very easily pollinated. If you mistakenly use a container that already has pollen, the chances of it not uh, working well it's going to be very high because as I mentioned there is self pollinator and they pollinate itself and if you have other different pollen in here it may not work as you would like so use a clean container to make sure you only have one type of pollen in that container and the way I collect pollen is very simple as you can see here these are the, the open flowers so you go to those open flower and then just tap tap like that and the pollen will fall into the cup Uh, you can also pull the flower off and then pollinate the other one as well. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time to make to cut down the filming time. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but there are pollen in that little corner right there. Let me zoom in. See there those little dust in that little corner? Those are the pollen that I collected from the MOA Scotch Bonnet see those little speck of dust that's what they look like you don't need too much that's about all you need if you uh, want to do two one or two flowers okay so basically that's how I collect my flower my pollen 
So next what we're going to do is use that MOA scotch bonnet uh, pollen to pollinate a flower on this bird's eye. What you want to do is select a flower that has not been opened yet, like for example this one here. Those that have already been opened will not work. So these here, these will not work because as they open up like that, any movement or shake of the plant, the, the pollen will pollinate itself. In order for that to work, you would want to pick a a flower that has not been opened yet like this here so we'll pick that one today and I'll show you how to do this okay so what you want to do is carefully pick a flower that look like this then we're going to remove the petals which is the outer white part of the, the flower so as you can see this utensil make very very precise cut it's very easy to do. So just remove all of the white area, the petals. So what you have left are the stamen, which is the part that produce pollen. And then the center is the stigma. So be very careful not to damage that little section. Just cut away everything else and that's what you have left, just the stigma. Then we'll use the pollen to pollinate this and I'll show you what to do next. Now what we're gonna do is use our pollen right here. You see those little white spots there? Just use a Q-tip or you can just take the flower like this and dip it in there. Okay, there you go. Now that that's done, what you want to do is take your Ziploc bag. Actually, this is the one. And then you Close it up. All right, and that's it. Well, that's pretty much how you cross pollinate peppers to create a new variety. So let me show you what I have done so far already. Here's one that I've done here. And that is about to become a fruit right there. And then I, this one here is the one I have already done. So when they get to this size, they, they will eventually outgrow the bag. So I use these little labels right here, which you can buy at any grocery store in the uh, pens and papers and folders section. They're basically just stickers. And then let me show you another one. See that big one right there that I've done? So when they get that size, they're pretty much going to outgrow the, the bag. So that's what you want to use to label them and I have a few more there and then I've, I've worked on one here so I, I've done a ton of them and here's another one that big one here so once you successfully pollinate the flower and when it becomes a fruit you cannot tell what the product would look like because it is not the first generation yet. You have to take the seeds of this and grow it out to see the new traits. All right, so there's more. Here's what I, I worked on on this one here. Done some over there. And my chocolate scotch bonnet. I did one of those there. So this is a chocolate scotch bonnet pollinated with a Thai bird's eye. In a few months, when these are ready, ripen and ready, I'll take the seed and grow it out. And then that's when you can see the new traits of the plant. Alright, so uh, that's it. I mean, cross-pollinating is very simple. It's, uh, you can use a very, very simple tool. It's an easy method. Try it out for yourself. Uh, to, uh, choose some few varieties that you like. And uh, try to cross-pollinate and see if you can create a new variety that 
retain both traits that you may like. Thanks for watching.